Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x to the power of 5 minus 1 equals to 0 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here first we can apply this nice algebraic formula. You know that if we have a to the power of n minus 1, uh, it is equals to uh, a minus 1 times of a to the power of n minus 1 plus a to the power of n minus 2 plus a to the power of n minus 3 and plus up to so on plus a to the power of n minus n. So here we can apply this nice algebraic formula so that according to this formula we will break our x to the power of 5 minus 1 as so similarly in this pattern we write x to the power of 5 minus 1 equals to this is written as x minus 1 times of x to the power of 5 minus 1 plus x to the power of 5 minus 2 plus x to the power of 5 minus 3 plus x to the power of 5 uh, minus 4 plus x to the power of 5 minus 5 okay so here and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we uh, rewrite this as here we have this is x minus 1 times of this will be written as x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 plus x and plus x to the power of 0. We know that x to the power of 0 equals to 1 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we can divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write x minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x to the power of 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of x equals to 1. This is the first root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to divide uh, this equation by x square on both of the sides of each term so when you divide x square by this term it will be written as x to the power of 4 over x square plus x cubed over x square plus x square over x square plus x over x square plus 1 over x square equals to 0 over x square and here we need more simplification this term is cancelled out by this term and we get x square plus this is cancelled out by this one and we get x plus these are cancelled by each other we get one this is cancelled out by this we get one over x and here you have this is one over x square equals to zero here we need to make the pairs of a square term as well as the single f one power term so we have this is x square plus 1 over x square and plus we have the other x terms are x plus 1 over x and this is our plus 1 and this whole equals to 0 and here we need some simplification so that here we will just make some substitution here uh, we will uh, put here uh, x plus 1 over x equals to y and when we will take the squaring on both of the sides so it will be written as x plus 1 over x whole square equals to y square so uh, we will expand the square of this term it will be written as x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equals to y square uh, here you have two terms of a b so when you multiply x times 1 over x these are cancelled by each other and we get only 2 so here we need to move this 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as x square plus 1 over x square equals to y square minus 2. So here we uh, substitute uh, these two values into this equation. So that uh, after substituting the values in above equation, our above equation is written as uh, first we have x square plus 1 over x square it is equals to y square minus 2 and plus x plus 1 over x. So x plus 1 over x equals to y and plus 1 equals to 0 and now here we need more simplification so that here we uh, we will get here this is the quadratic equation we can rearrange the terms we have y square plus y minus 2 plus 1 equals to minus 1 sorry this is minus 1 equals to 0 this is quadratic equation in y variable so that here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 
b equals to 1 and c equals to minus 1 and quadratic formula is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a here we will substitute the values of a b and c the value of b is 1 it will be written as minus 1 plus minus 1 b is 1 1 square is 1 and 4 times of a c a is 1 c is minus 1 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and it is divided by 2 so we write it as minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we will break uh, these terms uh, so first we write the positive value of y it is minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so here we back substitute the values of y so we will substitute our y equals to x plus 1 over x it is equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 similarly in this case we have again x plus 1 over x equals to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so now we need to rearrange the terms and we can multiply x on both of these uh, cases so when you multiply x on this equation we will get here x square plus 1 equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x similarly in this case uh, we have x plus 1 equals to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x and now here in the next step we move this 2 in the left hand side and it will be written as 2 times of x square plus 2 equals to uh, minus 1 plus square root of 5 into x so we move this term in the left hand side and it will be written as 2 times of x square minus uh, minus 1 plus square root of 5 into x plus 2 equals to 0 uh, and similarly uh, we will simplify this equation uh, and here we call this is our equation number 1 and when you simplify this term it will be written as uh, so this is x square it will be written as 2 times of x square and uh, plus 1 plus square root of 5 into x and plus 2 equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number 2 so we have again do these as the two quadratic equation and we can solve these two equations and, and we easily get the values of x so here i can just solve the one equation and can, i can uh, left the other equation for to you so here i can solve this equation and uh, we can apply the quadratic formula here so uh, the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 2 and b equals to here uh, when you multiply this minus sign here it will be written as 1 minus square root of 5 and c is equals to 2 so that our quadratic formula is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here we need to substitute the above values of a b and c here it will be written as x equals to minus b so we have minus times of 1 minus square root of 5 plus minus square root of b square b is 1 minus square root of 5 whole square minus 4 times of a is 2 and c is also 2 it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is also equals to 2 so here we need more simplifications and uh, now we can uh, multiply first this negative sign it will be written as square root of 5 minus 1 times plus minus square root of here we can apply this case square on this term it will be written as 1 square plus 5 minus 2 times of square root of 5 minus this is 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 2 becomes 4 so we need more simplifications and it will be written as square root of 5 plus minus square root of here you have 1 plus 5 that becomes 6 6 minus 16 equals to minus 10 minus 2 times of square root of 5 divided by 4 uh, so here when you take uh, common uh, my negative sign here then it will be written as uh, square root of 5 plus minus square root of 10 plus 2 times of square root of 5 into iota and it is divided by 4 these are the other two complex values of x similarly if you can solve uh, the second equation so uh, from second equation we will get here i can just write the solution of the second equation 
so in second uh, equation uh, we will just uh, write here so here we have little mistake this is square root of 5 minus 1 here you have square root of 5 minus 1 here again you have square root of 5 minus 1 okay please correct this and we have uh, the values of uh, x from equation number 2 is written as minus 1 minus square root of 5 plus minus square root of uh, 10 minus 2 times of square root of 5 iota and it is divided by 2 so these are the values of x which you can get the same pattern of uh, this here this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos